Blessed day, my viewers and my subscribers. Before me jump into the topics, my beginner to hit that like button. It will be greatly appreciated. Now, the topics coming up in this video. Donnelly brother and friends plan to do a protest against Noel Maitland getting bail. Joshi the silk boss and allegedly skeng in his latest song called Miggle Day. Police believe that the conning of a teen recently could be linked to reggae singer Tabby Diamond. Capleton reveals that his life is being targeted. Rihanna baby father ASAP Rocky pleads not guilty in court. Bounty Killer agrees with Papa son telling the dancehall artist to change their lyrical content and the body of the second brother who reportedly jumped into water overseas has been found so the first thing we're going to talk about is a very sad story we see upon the internet is my people and this has to do with a 16 year old youth who actually got conned up you see what i and they might look upon it say it might be a reprisal Based upon the whole Tabby Diamond situation, Zinka, I remember Tabby Diamond was t taking out you know, people, I think, some drive by thing. And you know, the news that come out basically saying that Tabby Diamond's son did do some things. His son is also incarcerated and thing. But you don't know them ever saying if you can't catch Quaco, you don't know the rest, right, people? So let me get into this story right now so you can see what's going on as it relates to this teen being taken out and things. Zane. So this is what the story I say. Cops probe whether the teen being taken out is linked to Tabby Diamond Conning. There were several S-H-O-O-T-I-N-G-S and at least six conning across the island in the last 48 hours. Investigators are probing whether one of the conning, that of a teen, is linked to the conning of reggae star Donald Tabby Diamond Shaw earlier this year. The suspected reprisal involved a 16-year-old boy, Janai Ellis, of a Siwa Drive address who was out on Siwa Drive in Olympic Garden, St. Andrew, on Tuesday night about 10.20. Residents heard loud sound and called the officers. The teenager was found taken out with multiple B-U-L-L-E-T in him. Investigators re recovered 17 spent casings and 11 fragments at the scene. The St. Andrew South Police are pro whether he was taken out in reprisal for the taking out of Shaw because of an ongoing situation between um, persons from Wint Road and McKinley Crescent in the division. You see it, people, so it's a sad situation still, and at the end of the day, I'm like always say, you see them type of thing here, like one area war with the next area and them thing there, are some people who are innocent are going to end up in the middle. You understand what I mean? So them now catch the people who they want to catch you now. You understand that's the worst thing about it. Them now catch them people, that innocent people when they have nothing to do with anything. You understand? 16 year old youth and thing. Anyway, people, you know, I, I don't know if this is going to be an ongoing thing where since this happened now, the other side are going to go over the next side now. If, 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 you know, if it proves that, all right, we are going to do something now. So, of course, you know, so the place are going to tense up and stuff like that. So, I hope this thing get quelled down and, you know, the man name holds some mid star. You know what I'm people? But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Joshi. You see my people? We're going we're go to some entertainment news right now. Now Joshi goes to Bob's and drop a music video today. Zin, earlier on, I don't even think it reached four hours yet. But in the music video, basically I go for Silk Boss. You see what I'm people? And if you don't know what's going on, Silk Boss and Joshi, them no good. You understand? Joshi basically provoked the youth and you know him always a troll Silk Boss on the internet. Till Silk Boss say, all right then, I go in the studio. Silk Boss goes to Bob Sanjap a this a this track at Joshi and him never paid no mind. Then him go Sanjap a next one. I think the last one him dropped must be named Runner. I'm not sure people, but a good little while that Joshi never respond to Silk Boss, none at all. People figure Get about it, you understand me? I say people call him a runner, same freed, same similar situation. Like, oh, people are saying massacre freed as king and them thing there. Yeah, so if you say Joshi goes to Bob's and drop this now, me see a person left a comment to say Joshi basically falling off, and that is the reason why him run go do this now because him want to remain relevant. You understand, people? And if you do not hear the song, you can go check it out on Joshi Vivo. I'm not going to play no night, and this is not a breakdown. This is about like certain little things where I'm saying night. Zin, now we have a party tonight where some people are saying this king when Josh is saying no power with quid. That are way down in the last part tight. You understand? Now of course you know say people always are refer to king as a quid because them talk about him take Mali and them thing. Zin, even though we know say Mali and Kukid, are two different something. Not saying that it is right for anybody to take that, you know, because me no support them type of thing. But, you know, if a man want to do it, a female life, right? If you tell him no and he want to do it, then what you going to do? Anyway, so Josh is saying no power on 
than them thing there. So a lot of persons are run with it now. And I said, Joshi, this king right about now. You see my people? So more I ask you know, for those of you who hear it, if you don't feel like a skeng, you might talk about seeing people, leave it in the comment section. And also, I don't feel like say too late for Joshi even respond to Silk Boss, because I'm going to be honest with you, you know, people. If I was Silk Boss, right now, I'm going to see Joshi go and drop that video here, or drop that song here, seeing people. I don't pay it no mind, you know. I don't pay it no mind. I'm going to be honest with you, you know. I don't even look at him none at all. I just continue to do what I do right now. I'm telling you straight up, because when you go and trouble me, and then I go and drop two songs off of you. And you ignore them for so long. And they want to drop song two, three weeks, months, whenever, whenever after. You think I go respond to that? But anyway, people, let me know where you think. And also, out of 10, how much you rate the Joshi uh, Miggle Day? You know what I'm saying, people? It, it's all alright still. I don't go around you. We don't have no doubt that Joshi, you know, him know for doing thing and him lyrical and all of them things. I remember him used to depend on the um, Unruly Clash or whatever it want him. You know what I'm saying, people? So we know say that you is a good artist and all of that but anyway people let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so now we're going to talk about donnelly brother when well, name alex basically them are planned for do a protest on the 21st of this month and of course that is the day before mr noel maitland goes to court yes my people of course he's scheduled to go on the 22nd and at that time i guess they will find out if he will be granted bail and thing and thing is me and based upon his lawyer christopher townsend so i'm a bit optimistic like him no say him, him client i forget bail and all of that you understand me, some people so you don't know so they make the protest and thing and basically he made that post there upon him um instagram status in and it's a justice for donnelly and thing no bail for noel maitland and joining protests, you see me? We need answers now. Why are we being kept in the dark? And them say Sunday, August the 21st at 10 a.m. And Monday, August the 22nd at 8. Oh, I never even know say so two days they are planned for do it. So them actually are good upon the Sunday and them actually are good upon the Monday as well. You see my people, so the man them no want him to get no bail none at all. So we're in the thing, people, because, you know, I feel like, say, he is actually going to be granted it. I'm not going to lie. I feel like he might get that. And it might be sad. And, of course, we know our justice system is not the best. <laughs> you understand what I say? So let me know what you guys think about this. And, I mean, if you don't want to go out there on the Sunday, you don't know. And, you know, lend on the vices for sure support for Dana Lee then you know, go out there and do that. You see my people? So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about the B.O.D.Y. of the second brother being found overseas. You understand me? I say, people, when you're supposed to see this story on the internet, it went viral where two brothers supposedly jump off in some river and they couldn't find them and all of that. So let me get into the story right now so you can understand what's going on. You see my people? So it said the B.O.D.Y. of second brother in Martha's Vineyard situation found. The B.O.D.Y. of the second of two brothers from Jamaica who couldn't be found after heading into the water from a Massachusetts bridge has been found. Officers say that the BODY of Tavon Bulgin 21 was found by a fisherman around 11.30 a.m. Thursday on the pond side of the bridge in a marshy area, according to media reports. Tavon Bulgin was among four people, including his 26-year-old brother, Tavares Bulgin, who, you know, head into the so-called Jaws Bridge on Martha's Vineyard on Sunday night. Tavares was found taken out Monday morning. The other two were not heard. The brother's parents, Reverend Keith Bulgin and his wife, Jacqueline, have jetted off to the United States to claim the B-O-D-I-E-S of their sons. Yes, my people, so as I say, um, sad situation. Yes, I say, um... I don't know, I just want to say condolences to the family, that's all I'm going to say. And, you know, I'm hoping to find the strength and just hoping to get a lot of support and things. You see me? Two sons. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about reggae superstar Capleton, who feels like his life is being targeted and stuff like that. You see me, people? So let me get into this story right away. 
So it's a Capleton says his life is being targeted. Iconic reggae singer Capleton has revealed that haters have been targeting his life and one of the attempts made including P-O-I-S-O-N, the who them singer made the revelation before ending his performance at Thursday Night Live. Recently, Capleton walked away with minor injuries after he reported the lost control of his Mercedes-Benz and crashed alongside the Cocoa Main Road in St. Thomas on the morning of August the 9th. The Rastafarian artist announced at the Red Stripe sponsored event that there were several incidents that he had survived, giving the impression that the accident might have been another attempt to take him out. You see my people? And him go on for say, them try send me got prison, it no work. Them try put common pin in my food with copper, it never work. Them I try P-O-I-S-O-N me. How much time, it still no work. So, you know, the artist, I say, you know, basically, you have to be very careful. <laughs> we eat from an all them thing there. You understand what I mean? I say, a serious thing there, you know. If people are trying to do certain type of things to you and it no work, you have to be careful who you have around you and all them things. But I think people tend don't know them things there. You see my people? So, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So, now we're going to talk about some international news as it relates to Rihanna's baby father and boyfriend, ASAP Rocky. You see it, people, who actually went court yesterday. So it's a ASAP Rocky pleads not guilty to firearm charges. The Ireland rapper appeared in court on Wednesday in Los Angeles to answer to two counts of assault using a semi-automatic strap against his former high school friend. ASAP Rocky, whose real name is Rocky Myers, got news of the charges on Monday after he allegedly some con at someone and it grazed them in November 2021. Rocky, who appeared with his attorney, pleaded not guilty to the counts after the judge read them to him. He is accused of luring his friend Relly to a location in Hollywood where they had a disagreement that led Rocky to, you know, pulling out the thing and basically firing it at his friend. You understand? So, you know, him plead not guilty and stuff, but the officers them also reveal that they have video evidence for sure say him did actually do it or Rocky was the one who do it. So, when I know still, for him go sub and plead not guilty and the, the investigators them say them have video footage of this. It will be very interesting to see how this whole thing work out, you understand? Riri, I forgot does spend up some other millions they wish you have for try to keep him out. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about gospel artist Papa San. You know, basically I tell the young artists them to change the message in a them content and stuff. And Bounty seemingly agreed with the, the, the words that Papa San is saying and things. You see my people? So let me read the article and then I'm going to actually show you what Bounty posted in the comment section. You see me? So it said, change the message in dancehall music pleads Papa San. Pioneering dancehall gospel artist Papa San believes that dancehall music is too powerful a tool to be carrying such negative message. He therefore has won for dancehall artists change the lyrical content acknowledging that he was guilty of the same thing when he was a secular artist. Papa San noted that the thing he would love to see most is for dancehall artists to join him in a Christian lifestyle. The founder of the Florida base Our Father's Kingdom International Ministry starts stated i know the influence that dancer carry because i've been through the world and i've seen it and doing so much album and so many number one songs and going to so many different places all over the world i know that dancer music has a serious impact and people just love the music itself but i would love the content to change because that is the message it was 25 years ago that papa san stepped away from the glamour of his successful dj lifestyle and embraced christianity he is now an ordained minister and has released a number of gospel albums including the mega successful victory his latest album life lesson dropped last friday we are already living in a country where the crime rate is high for many decades and it seems hard to get down we see the immortal activities getting even worse so we have to do something about the message even if you are not a christian clean it up but my heart is to see them come to christ so they can be able to have that message coming out from the word of god i know that there are some who don't know christ but there are but they can also be an influence by writing cleaner lyrics that can educate and make the young girls them know how to carry themselves and the young man know how to be a good father you can find clean stuff to sing because it helps 
Papa San said, giving an example of the negative influence. Papa San asked, you ever go in a dance and hear Man Ferrari and Boschat and them thing there, and all of a sudden, man feel high, man feel hype up, and then him do it, and him just pop off and bam, 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 all because him hear what the artists are say. He added, and I am guilty of those things back in the past, so I know what I am talking about, so we have to do something about the message. Yeah, Z, so what do you think about what Papa San is saying? And I feel like said the youth them have to clean up the message where they must send out there. And I feel like said them think they just have to in a dance hall. You have to have some people that sing it, you have to have some people who not sing it. You understand? Because you have some artists like even Sean Paul and Shaggy. I never, never think I ever hear Shaggy do a type of song like that at all, but bust out this and that. You understand? So you have artists out there who do good clean songs and stuff like that both male and female Yes, I'm asking some people. So after that was posted, Bounty Killer jumped in on the comment section and him, and him say, The thing is, there ain't even no message in dancehall currently. It's a flea free market. Everybody just a sell them all ago. <laughs> yes, I'm people. And somebody comment on the Bounty comment and say, That's the message, my general. They might treat dancehall like social media. Them sell out and I use some gimmicks and slackness to get some short term likes. Yeah, see it, people. So, want to support what um, Papa San is saying and thing, and more know if you support it as well. Leave it in the comment section. You see, my people. And that's it, you know. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bless upon yourself. Until I drop the next video, I'm out.